Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving lead code problem 2530, maximal score after applying k operations. You are given a zero index integer array nums and an integer k. You have a starting score of zero. In one operation, you can choose an index i such that i is greater than or equal to zero and less than nums of length. You can also increase your score by nums of i and then you'll replace nums of i with the ceiling of nums of i divided by three. Return the maximum possible value you can attain by applying exactly k operations. So let's look at an example and walk through it. So we will take this number here and we'll actually go over to the code editor to walk over it. Okay, so what is our score in the beginning? It's obviously going to be zero, sorry, and equals zero. So we want to take the largest element because we wanna maximize our score. So we're gonna take this 10 and we're gonna, remember we add it to our score and then we need to replace the value that's at this index with ceiling of 10 divided by three. So 10 divided by three is 3.333 and obviously we take the ceiling of that so that becomes four and we replace it right so this now becomes four so now we have basically two operations left right because we used one now what we want to do is we want to take the next largest element which is this four so we're going to add it and then remember we do the ceiling of four divided by three that's 1.333 obviously we take the ceiling of that so we replace it with two now we have one pick left so we will just take one of the threes we add it to our answer here and we don't actually need to replace anything because we've now used our three picks and we return the answer 17. So as you can see from our example, we always want to have the largest element available to us uh, so we can take it in a greedy manner and maximize our result. Now, every time we basically want to have the maximal value out of a set of numbers, we should be thinking max heap. And that's actually how we're gonna solve this problem. We're going to build a max heap and basically we're just going to pop from it K times. We're gonna take the top uh, element uh, k times, we're going to add it to our answer, and then we're going to reinsert into the heap, um, whatever that element we just took, divided by three, and taking the ceiling of it. And as you can see, by the time we go through all k elements, we'll have our final answer, and we can simply return it. So let's quickly code this up. So of course, we'll still need our answer, which initially is zero, and we're going to have our max heap variable, which is just going to be an empty list. Now we need to put all of the numbers into the heap. So we're going to say for num in nums, we're going to say heap q dot heap push. Um, we're going to push onto the max heap. And in Python, um, the default heap behavior is actually a minimum heap. So in order to get it to be a max heap, we actually need to take the, um, the negative of the element such that it'll be flipped and it will behave as if it's a max heap. So we're going to put minus num. Okay, now we've actually built our heap. Now we just need to basically process it k times such that we can get our answer. So we're gonna say while k is actually greater than zero, whoops, k is greater than zero, we want to decrement k because now we're gonna take one <coughs> value from it and we're gonna say that the max element equals to minus, because remember we put it in as negative, so now we need to flip it to get it back to what it was. We're gonna say heap q dot heap pop. <coughs> So this will pop from the top of the heap and give us whatever the top is. So that is the maximum element. We're gonna add to our solution the maximum element, and then we need to push this element back onto the heap um, in case that, remember when we saw that 10 was the top element, but when we divided by three and took the ceiling, it became four, which was actually still greater than the other elements. So we need to put it back onto the heap for further consideration. So we're simply gonna say heap q dot heap push. So again, we're gonna push onto the max heap, and we're going to do minus because remember we need to put it as a negative math uh, dot ceiling of what the max element that we just popped divide by three so this will basically give us our k operations here and at the end all we need to do is simply return our answer so let's run this make sure we didn't make any bugs and it looks fine and we can see hello it is accepted perfect so that is that before we go let's quickly do the time and space complexity so for the time complexity, we have two operations. First, we have to put all of the elements onto the heap, which is going to take um, big O of n, n log n, because putting an element on the heap, it costs log n time, and we do this n times for each of the numbers. Plus, we have to then pop from the heap k times and add to the heap k times. So what we're gonna do here is we need to do k operations of log n each time. So that is um, the time complexity where obviously n equals uh, number of nums in nums 
uh, I guess, yeah, values in nums, and then k is just k from earlier. So that is that. And then for the space complexity, obviously we need to store all of the elements onto the heap. So this will just be the same length as our nums. So this is just gonna be big O of n, or again, n is the number of values in nums. So that is how you solve this problem. A nice little uh, max heap question to get you warmed up for this week's contest, or I guess daily problem, whatever. Um, if you enjoyed the video, why not leave it a like and a comment, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.